Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Introduction to Fractions. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to learn the following. 1. The meaning of fractions. 2. Identify equivalent fractions of a given fraction. 3. Ordering of fractions. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Introduction to Fractions A fraction is a part of a whole or a part of a set. This means that a fraction involves a whole that is divided into two or more equal parts. A fraction is denoted by two numerals called the numerator and the denominator. The number on the top of the line is called the numerator. It tells the number of equal parts of the whole taken. The number below the line is called the denominator. It shows the total part into which the whole has been divided. For instance, this whole is divided into four equal parts. But one of the equal parts shaded is taken. Therefore, we say that this is a fraction of 1 over 4. That is good. Equivalent fractions. Two or more fractions are said to be equivalent or the same if they represent the same value. To find the equivalent fractions for any given fraction, we multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same number or quantity. Let's see an example. Find the equivalent fractions of 2 over 4. Solution 1. By multiplication, we multiply the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by 2. Therefore, 2 over 4 equals 2 times 2 over 4 times 2. This gives us 4 over 8. 2. By division, we divide the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by 2. Therefore, 2 over 4 equals 2 divided by 2 over 4 divided by 2. This gives us 1 over 2. Notice that 2 over 4 equals 4 over 8 and also equals 1 over 2. Therefore, they are called equivalent fractions. Note that the procedure leading to 1 over 2 is called reducing a fraction to its lowest term. That's brilliant. Ordering of fractions. Ordering of fractions means arranging fractions in ascending or descending order according to their sizes as shown below. Ascending order is from the lowest to the highest while descending order is from the highest to the lowest. This arrangement is usually done in order to compare and see which fraction is the biggest or smallest. To achieve this, we do the following. 1. Find the LCM of the denominators. 2. Multiply the fractions by their LCM. 3. Arrange in ascending or descending other. Now, let's see an example. Example. Arrange the following fractions in ascending order. 2 over 5, 1 over 3, and 3 over 7. Solution. Let's find the LCM of the denominators. 5 times 3 times 7. This gives us 105. Now, multiply the fractions by their LCM. 2 over 5 times 105 
gives us 210 divided by 5 equals 42. 1 over 3 times 105 gives us 105 divided by 3 equals 35. 3 over 7 times 105 gives us 315 divided by 7 equals 45. Notice that 1 over 3 is big. 2 over 5 is bigger. And 3 over 7 is the biggest. Therefore, arranging the fractions in ascending order, from the lowest to the highest, equals 1 over 3, 2 over 5, and 3 over 7. That's brilliant. Assignment Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. The meaning of fractions. 2. How to identify equivalent fractions of a given fraction. 3. How to order fractions. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks. And goodbye.